So I've just loaded up my Streamlabs to start recording these videos as I usually do and I've just noticed, look at the name of someone who's just followed me on Twitch. Very interesting one, just thought I'd throw that out there at the start of the video. So yeah, welcome back to another video guys. Look at this absolute machine that we are riding on today. So this is a bike that's like just been updated on MXB Mods. I've not seen it prior to this, but it was an updated post rather than a new post, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, we are riding the, it's a CR hill climb bike, which obviously you can tell by looking at it, with a Harley Davidson uh, 1250cc swapped engine. So no idea how this is gonna go, but there is one hill climb track, like a proper hill climb track in the entirety of MX bikes, which we are looking at right now. Uh, five hill climbs in front of me. Now, I have attempted this before. I wanted to do this track in a normal video. However, uh, this was before I knew this hill climb bike existed and I was using a normal uh, Husky 450. I couldn't even get to the top of one of them because of the MX bikes physics. So basically the goal of today is to see, does this bike make it any easier? If so, how much easier? And if it's good, one thing that I have in mind that I do want to test at the end of the video is I want to do a few of the Krakenberg hills, the big uh, Krakenberg Enduro track, because I feel like that would be a very good test for it as well. There are some of them hills on there are very, very difficult. But I mean, first things first, let's get these out of the way. So we've got, I'm not sure which ones are the hardest, but we are going to try this one right in front of us first of all. This one actually looks like the steepest out of all five, so I'm not sure if I've started at the hard end. But either way, let's get to it. Um, being a Harley, it's all... Oh, it's all talk. Well, I'm, I got to the top of it. That's a good sign. Uh, I think it's all bottom end. I don't think it has too much in terms of top speed. That right there, for two seconds worth of fun, uh, is a hell of a lot easier than what I've used in the past. I can tell you that much for free. So, the Husky... I couldn't even make it halfway up that. It would kind of go fishtaily halfway up and spin me around. But not the case on this. So let's try hill number two. This this one actually looks easier than the ones on the left. So we shall see. I'm going to try and go a bit slower. Up and over. So uh, the front wheel twitched a little bit. But it still made it up. So what I've done as well in setup. I've tried making the bike as long as possible. Uh, it's already got the longest swing arm in the settings, but I've increased the rod length all the way. I've put the forks as low as they would go, just so the bike is a, as much of a chopper as possible, which I do quite a lot when I'm doing Krakenberg. I feel like it helps me quite a lot. Oh God, I'm not sure what line I need to take here. It's got a bit of a rut at the top. Get up and over it. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll absolutely take it. This thing, I won't lie, little pretty impressive so far a little bit op i can't lie how fast how many gears we got well six gears I'm not sure why i'm in kilometers an hour i usually run miles per hour but we're getting about 100 kilometers an hour there which isn't too bad i mean from the hill climb stuff i've seen on youtube they don't reach like ridiculous top speeds a lot of it is is more all bottom end that you need and, and the torque to get, actually get up the hills I, um, I'm not sure why, but I get a lot of hill climb stuff in my YouTube recommended, and I always really, really enjoy watching it. It's something that I wouldn't mind having a go at myself. I'm not sure how popular that is in the UK. Um, I mean, there was one hill climb event that I was meant to go to a couple months back that got cancelled due to lack of entries, but that wasn't like these weird and wonderful bikes like you see in, uh, in American stuff where people kind of swap out Harley engines into their normal bikes and make the frames really long. It was just pure, normal, everyday bikes. That, that was incredibly impressive. I don't think I've ever got up a hill that looks that difficult as easy as that. So, I mean, I didn't even, I've got to the top of all of them. I granted I crashed on top of one or two of them, but that's ridiculous. This bike is, uh, it's a bit of a weapon. So I'm going to load up Krakenberg real quick and I'm gonna try and tackle some of the hardest hills on there to really, really put this thing to the test. Right, let's try this out then. So, uh, funnily enough as well, the there's no like updated tyres or anything for this bike. It just comes on the standard mid-softs. No idea of all the behind-the-scenes stuff and the uh, aisles and the values needed in those tractions, but they do have like a separate tyres folder for them. So I wonder how much of it is to do with the geometry of the bike and how much of it is to do with, with the tyres. Oh my lord. Or obviously it, it could just be very well be a combination of both. Uh, but we're on the Krakenberg now. One of my, or if not my most favourite track in the entire game. These hills that you see to my right, the amount of grief that I see people have on them uh, when they're starting off this run is quite funny. I feel like I've mastered them at this point. I know the line to get up them. But I also know how the bike should be feeling whilst going up them as well. So... Let's, uh, let's give it a go. That was disgusting. That was even more disgusting. Come on, third one. How's this one going to go? 
That's ridiculous. There is there is no twitch in there whatsoever. I, the thing is, I, up those hills, I usually have like a... I want to say like an 80% success rate. I have maybe 2 out of 10 times where I'll get kind of sketchy, flop about and crash. But that was as straight as an arrow. I don't think I've ever had it quite as easy as that. What about about this hill? This one is a bit of a harder one because it's on a slight angle. Again, absolute piece of cake. This is... This is disgusting. I, I've never, ever, ever tackled hills this easy before. Right, now this one is also a very, very tricky one. Which I'm going to say I hit maybe half the time. So, oh god, actually I might need to hit that again. <laughs> I've, it's got so much traction. Uh, if you turn the front wheel a little bit too tight as well, it really, it really grabs on the front end. So... I think these tyres, whatever they've done to them, whatever they've put on this, is a massive contributing factor to the lack of uh, slow speed physics. So, try and get up this one. I mean, I'm not coming into the hill with anywhere near as much speed as I usually do, and it's still just no problem at all, just chugging its way along. Not sure why I'm doing it in third person, if I'm completely honest, but that's actually crazy. Like, so, so easy. There's a couple more that I want to uh, make my way to and hit as well. I'm a bit worried about running out of fuel because there's only 7.5 litres uh, in the tank. And I've only been riding for two minutes and I've already used up a litre. So we'll see um, We'll see how many hills I can actually hit. But this is super, super impressive. All right, here we go then. I want to say probably one of the top four, well, maybe, yeah, fourth or fifth hardest hill in this entire track. So let's give this bad boy a go. I did have a lot of grief getting up this hill the other day in my stream for some reason. Absolutely not even a glimpse of difficulty that time. But you can see what I mean about the front end though. As soon as it tucks a little bit, it's, it's unreal. But I, I'm really... I won't lie, I'm a little bit upset that this bike doesn't have more fuel. Because I could literally... I could see myself doing an entire Krakenberg run on this bad boy. It is that OP. I dare say... Uh, you could probably even get close to my world record time. Actually, was it hit logs like? It doesn't hit logs well at all. Uh, so what you gain on hills, it seems like you definitely lose elsewhere. But you know what? It's not made for the rest of the track. It's it's made for the uh, for the hill climbs. So I suppose maybe maybe now that we've actually got a good bike for hill climbs in the game, maybe we'll maybe we'll see some more of them. Because I swear it was only in yesterday's video that I was mentioning how like creators have to be quite limited in what they can build uh, purely on the basis of the game's wonky hill physics so yeah now this is super exciting for uh, someone like me that likes uh, venturing out the box a little bit trying some weird and wacky stuff and a hundred percent give this go i'll put all the download links to it in the uh, in the description and stuff but i'm just gonna keep you on board but one last climb this next one that i'm coming up to at the end of this straight is a bit of a deadly one I won't lie, it's it's definitely a difficult one. It's it's because you go into it turning ever so slightly, so I'm interested to see what this is like if I'm not going at a dead straight angle. So we're gonna pop a pop a right 90 here and just very be very gentle, very gentle. It's twitching a little bit. Look at that. Oh so much speed at the top still as well. One thing that it's a little bit deceiving actually, because the bike is very, very quiet, which I'm not sure how intentional that is. Um, it's, at least it's quiet in my ears. I'll try and turn it up in the editing process. Um, you don't really notice how fast you're actually going, but you, you are zooming along. When you get to the top of some of these hills, I'm, I'm guessing because normally on the normal bikes, you get robbed of so much speed uh, once you get to the top, just because of the bike shaking and sliding out underneath you. Not the case here. Not the case whatsoever. I want to try out one or two more just because it's incredibly satisfying to do so. So again, this one here, I've only recently learned out the, uh, the technique for this one on a normal bike that is. So let's see what it's like on this bad boy. Haven't even got to do it. Can literally just dead straight line it. On the normal bike, I'd have to move slightly over to the left because the hill's not quite as steep and lean forwards at a certain point and be super, super careful and wobbly. But I mean, I, haven't, I feel like I'm a broken record at this point. This, this shit is so so op let's go up this one and then we've i'll do probably the second or third hardest hill on the track after this and once i if i get that up that one pretty securely um, i think i'm happy to call it there all right come on then and wave to the man as we go past happy days just i feel like this is just cheating at this point just easy mode engage so the next hill at the very end of this long straight is 
it's hot. I think it's, it's actually quite hard ranking the hills uh, on this track as from easiest to hardest because I feel like it just depends on the day <laughs> and kind of how lucky you get. So because this one is on quite a, a bit of an angle as well when you get to the top. How's this going to handle it? Absolutely easy. I've never had that much speed up the top of that before. And you know what? I think to end it off, I'm going to try and do this hill climb right here. So the key to this hill climb is momentum. You want to always just be moving ever so slightly. As soon as you have that one slip or you let the front wheel come up and you lose your momentum, it's, it's game over. So let's see how it goes on this bad boy. Up the first bit. Up the second bit. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not... Oh god, it's not fail-proof. Or oh, foolproof. Foolproof is probably the right word. I definitely I definitely messed that up myself. Let me, uh, once I finish having actual Pavoso physics, I'm going to turn around and do it again from the very bottom. Let's see if we can do it in one run. All right, take number two. Over the first little hump. Over the second little hump. There we go. Actually, the increased speed is messing me up a little bit. I'm used to having my points where I let off the accelerator just to slowly roll over these bumps. No, not the rock. Stop, 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 stop. And can I get going again from a stop? I can. You, usually, when you come to a stop, you've just got to push away the rest of the way up. But that is sick. Um, I'm very happy with that. I think I might leave it there because it's probably getting a little bit repetitive, actually, me just hitting these hills and uh, being probably over happy about just being able to go uphill straight in a bloody video game. Um, but that is really, really good. Uh, I Definitely go give it a, a go yourself because I feel like you won't truly know what I'm talking about unless you experience it. You know what? Should we let's make one up for the end of the video? Let's, see, let's try and get up this bad boy. This is a. I don't think I could ever get up this on the normal bikes, but I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've made a few references to the old Skyrim horse in a few of my videos over the last year or so. I, I mean, we've got another one. It, we're just going to keep going. Just keep going up and up and up and up and up. And, oh, look, more hills. It's like it wants us to keep going. Oh, this one's a bit of a steep one. But up there, if I lean forwards rather than lean backwards for a change. Oh, she's sliding. She's sliding. She's sliding. And we're up again. No idea where I am on the track in comparison to everything else after doing that. But you can see, it's actually ridiculous. Look how, look how high we've climbed in that short amount of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed making it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. Uh, please do leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. All that good stuff. And until I catch you in the next one, peace. I'm working hard. I'm sacrificing my life. I'm sacrificing my mind. I'm sacrificing my sanity. But most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine. I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I got salt.